Hello everyone, this is Jeremy Fry. I am the senior pastor at Advent Lutheran Church in Melbourne, Florida. This is my daily devotional podcast. It is Thursday, February 4th, 2021. Hope everybody is doing well and staying safe and warm wherever you're living. Uh, it is cold for us Floridians here on the uh, east coast of Florida. Uh, when I got out this morning, it was 32 degrees as I was walking uh, my dog. So uh, we're definitely not used to this weather that much. And um, my body has gotten used to the cold or the, the heat very, very easily. Uh, even though I'm from Minnesota, lived in Nebraska, I lived in Texas and Florida long enough now that my body has acclimated very quickly. So uh, luckily no snow. And I know a lot of people up north are dealing with lots of snow and, and other issues. But uh, for us here in Florida, uh, especially I think about our homeless, um, uh, what these temperatures are uh, very, very cold for them as well. And uh, thoughts and prayers are with them that they're staying warm uh, and that they're able to uh, get shelter that they need. This uh, month, uh, we're focusing on the scriptures that we preach about on the weekends and our worship services. Uh, next week, I'm really gonna dive into uh, the Ash Wednesday, uh, which will be coming up on February 17th. And uh, let the Lenten season will then start and talk more about what that is and what that looks like and what we're doing for there. But for now, we're kind of focusing on the scriptures that we're gonna be reading uh, this weekend. Now in our traditional services, we read four different uh, scriptures. Uh, we read an Old Testament, a Psalm, uh, a New Testament and a gospel in our contemporary worship, we just do two verse, two scriptures, usually uh, a, a New Testament, sometimes the Old Testament, usually the New Testament, and then the gospel. But I'm reading, um, I'm looking at all the scriptures that we read at our traditional services. So today it is a, a New Testament scripture, 1 Corinthians, uh, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians written by the Apostle Paul. Uh, who went around, started churches. Um, this was after Jesus uh, ascended into heaven, after he died and rose again, ascended to heaven. Uh, Paul was persecuting Christians and uh, he had a vision uh, of Jesus and, and uh, ended up uh, being one of the greatest um, proponents for, for Christ and went to all these uh, places and started these churches. And then they would write him letters and he'd write them letters. So this is a letter, his first letter to uh, the church of Corinth uh, and uh, to give him just some really good advice about uh, how to act and what, who Jesus is and, and you know everything they needed as, as a new church and, and new followers of Jesus Christ. Again, this is 1 Corinthians 9, chapter 9, verses 16 through 23. 1 Corinthians 9, 16 through 23. This is the new revised standard version of the Bible. It says this, this is Paul talking. If I proclaim the gospel, this gives me no ground for boasting for an obligation is laid on me. And woe to me if I do not proclaim the gospel. For if I do not, sorry, for if I do this of my own will, I have reward, but if not of my own will, I am entrusted with a commission. What then is my reward? Just this, that my proclamation I may make the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my rights in the gospel. For though I am free with respect to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so that I might win more of them. To the Jews I become a Jew in order to win Jews. To those under the law I become one under the law, though I myself am not under the law, so that I might win those under the law. To those outside the law I become as one outside the law, though I'm not free from God's law, but I am under Christ's law, so that I might win those outside the law. To the weak, I become weak, so that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, that I might by all means save some. I do it for the sake of the gospel, so that I may share in its blessings. 
when I read this scripture, I can't help but uh, think of um, that, that those last few uh, verses about being all things to all people. Uh, and some people will read, read the scripture and, and interpret it as Paul was being fake, that Paul was just uh, pretending to be things that he's not to get more people to be followers of Jesus Christ. So, you know, um, as he said, if, if you're a Jew, he pretended to be a Jew. If you're, you're a Gentile, a non-Jewish person, he pretended to be a Gentile. If you're a pagan, he pretended to be a pagan, so on and so on. And that, that's not how I interpret it and read it. Um, how I read it is, uh, is that he truly understood what it meant to be in relationship with other people. And he truly tried to walk in other people's shoes and try to figure out where they're coming from, what their story was, and, um, and what, what's going on in their life. And in order to do that, you truly have to know somebody and spend time with somebody. Uh, and then knowing that and trying to walk, uh, as, our, uh, as a, our modern uh, phrase says, walk a mile on someone else's shoes, uh, then he was truly able to share the gospel with them. When he put himself in their position, in their life, in what they're going through, he was able to share the gospel more. And he did that to do just that, to share the gospel with them, to share the good news of Jesus, to share God's love and mercy and forgiveness with them. And uh, and every time I read this verse, I that's what I try to think of to myself. I know every single day when I run into people, uh, obviously people are going through uh, life. Uh, they have their own issues. They got their own problems. They got their, you know, their, their, uh, their own story uh, of who they are and why they are who they are. Uh, and, and I have to remind myself to put myself in their shoes. Uh, and to really get to know them, to ask ask them, uh, you know, what's going on, to, to truly, uh, not just to tell them about Jesus, that Jesus loves them, but to truly invest in time uh, to, to get to know them and get to know their story, so then I could share the gospel in a more poignant way, and I could uh, be sincere about sharing the gospel. That's what I hear when I hear Paul saying this. He wanted, he wants to be sincere and know folks and know and let folks know that he cares about them and that God cares about them. There's so many times in my, uh, my ministry uh, where I've met strangers um, that we start talking and, and, I, and finally we talk about what you do and I bring up that I'm a pastor. There's so many times when that happens that people just kind of spill their life story or, or, or talk about something that they're having issues with, or, or you know, finally, because uh, they never, they just haven't had anybody to do that with. Um, not that they're looking for me to give them the answers, but it opens up opportunity to share with them uh, what I believe in and why I believe in it, and give them some encouragement as well. And there, there are also many times that I am just trying to get something done and try to live my life and have a task to do. Um, and, uh, and I get uh, annoyed by people uh, or people's behaviors or people's questions or whatever. And a lot of times I need to remember this verse and remind myself that these people are going through something that they have. Uh, even if I don't understand what they're doing and why they're doing it, uh, there is a reason why they're doing it. And uh, it can go a long way if I try to put myself in their situation or try to walk a mile in their shoes uh, so I know where they're coming from uh, so I can have a better uh, better understanding and do a better job of sharing uh, the good news of Jesus Christ with them. And that's my challenge uh, for all of us uh, as we go about the, our day today and the days to come uh, as we get, uh, as we interact with uh, people, especially people that we don't make, uh, understand why they're doing what they're thinking, why they're acting that way. Uh, remember Paul's words here, uh, try to be all things to all people, meaning try to put yourself in their situation, try to put the, walk a mile in their shoes, try to uh, get to know them on a personal level if you can to see why they are here, what issues they have and what troubles are they going through. Uh, you know, and uh, not always, but a lot of times that will help uh, how you react to that situation, and a lot of times that will change how they will react to you as well.
So let's pray. Uh, good and gracious God, we thank you so much uh, for the blessing of today, uh, the blessing of Paul's words. Um, help us to, uh, when we interact with each other, friends and family members, uh, people we don't even know, uh, to remind ourselves uh, that they're going through uh, life themselves, uh, that they have some they probably have some issues and troubles that they're dealing with. Uh, help us to put ourselves in their situation. Help us to remember uh, what it would be like to walk a mile in their shoes, uh, to be able to truly share the gospel with them, uh, to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Uh, we have to have that mercy and empathy uh, about who they are. They have to know that we care before they will care about us or care about the message uh, that we're sharing. Help us to give us the encouragement through the help of the Holy Spirit to accomplish these things. We pray this all in your son's holy and precious name. Amen. All right. Thanks for joining me today. Tomorrow we'll talk about the gospel lesson for this weekend. Everybody uh, take care and God bless and stay safe.